Hey everybody, this is Bradley. So you have your audio, your audiobook, your podcast, your audio. You're recording your voice onto a recording device. Great. So because you're in this industry, because you are creating, you can then more easily turn the table, turn the microphone around and be interviewed by podcasts. So podcast listeners like audiobooks. Podcast listeners like other podcasts. They want to hear about you. They want to hear about your audio adventures. They want to hear about your audiobooks and your podcasts. So you wonder, there's so many podcasts out there, and apparently there's more every day, of course. And how do you find the good ones? You can search in, in iTunes. You can search in whatever you want. But I was just tipped off to Listen Notes. ListenNotes.com. The best podcast search engine it says up there. So I'm currently working on Spark, which is co-writing, you know, writing a book together with your kids in a month, a short book. And it's more about the process. It's really about parenting. It's about creativity. It's about a lot of stuff. So speaking of parenting and creativity, I would like to be on podcasts uh, about talking about Spark, talking about my program, talking about my book, and of course, not just selling, but talking about you know, the, the benefits, the goodness, the what's all happening, and to offer, because what we're really doing is offering parents a way to engage with their kids rather than watching them play on their phones. So let's take a quick look. I'm going to do parenting. Oh, and see, it's already got the, the automatic search thing. I'm going to do parenting teens. So I'm going to search that. And now at the top, you'll see I get episodes, podcasts, curated lists, interviews. Ooh, interviews. I didn't really look at that one before. Okay, no interviews. Don't really know what that's all about. Episodes. So now I can see there are <laughs> 3,800 3, um, interviews. I can sort by relevance or date. I can put in filters like language, region, duration, fields. So I guess I can search by fields, pub time, uh, when it was published, right? And, and even categories, right? So I can get into here and do, you know, it's about parenting or it's about motivation or it's about psychology. Who knows? So I'm not going to do that now. I just want to give a quick overview of what you can do here. So for me, back to Spark, right? Parenting teens, and it's not only teens, but you want to become more and more specific. So I could just say parenting. And here, I can say parenting and we get a lot more. I do, it's about parenting teens, it's about parenting preteens, it's about parenting lots of stuff. But for the moment, for the sake of this example, I'm going to focus on parenting teens. Now I could do, I could choose to do podcasts or episodes. So here, the 80 results that have parenting teens, and that might be even better. Here is a whole entire podcast about raising teens, parenting teens, parenting today's teens. Now look at this. You quick get a quick overview of you get some statistics that are kind of hard to find elsewhere. 791 episodes. I would guess that's the start date. Okay. The recent most recent one is 20 hours ago. And here's some tags. So religion, Christianity, okay, kids, family, social culture. Okay. So it might have, have a bit of a religious twist. Here. Mighty Parenting, 86 episodes, been around a less, a little bit less long, two days ago, recent one, teens, parenting, young adults, yay. So if you think about it, uh, what might be easier to get on too, right? Because, oh, well, let's go for the New York Times on parenting. Great. Yeah, but good luck getting on there. You know, so that's, those are podcasts. Episodes, we can get even more specific, parenting teens, and we this might be a good trick too, right? Here... Here are seven ways to improve your relationship with your teens starting today. And this is Optimal Relationships Daily. So it's about relationships, and but also good to know it's daily. So how many episodes does the thing have? Three months ago is a recent one. By the way, I can just click here and I can listen to it. This is Optimal Pretty Relationships I don't have Daily, to find it. episode four. Sep Oh, episode four. Oh, sorry. There it is. 470. Okay. They've got quite a few. So they've got a real thing going that's busy. They um, might need guests. Who knows? Might, they might be backed up for, for forever. Let's find, let's find one and pick it here. I'm going to pick this one. Parenting for the modern mom or dad uh, featuring parenting coach. Okay. So here, this one's an hour long. We can listen to that. Here's the episode. 
And here is the text about this episode. And by, look at this. So in celebration of Father's Day this month. <clears throat> now, be warned that because this episode, oh, this is June 5th anyway, but think ahead, right? If it's, oh, it's Father's Day, you know, tomorrow, that's a little too late to book your your show. So there's some of the transcript, there's some about it, a community. Now, what's neat is that I can go here, link, and I can go open up the website about this podcast. There we go. It's a whole site. It's a whole movement. Who knows? I'd go read about this. I, of course, would recommend listening to the episode. And then, this part is crazy, but I can click email, click, and I can see bottom left. I'm not going to click because it's going to open my mail program, but I can see bottom left, send email to contact at generation.mom. Great. There's my connection right there. So then step two, which is a actually a bigger step, is now what? You know, what are you going to say? Hi, I'm Bradley. I wrote a book about co-writing books with my kids. I would love to be on your show. You know, what are the benefits for the for the readers? What am I doing? Why does it help them? Maybe get in a little bit. You know, what have I done? What kind of audience do I have? You know, why am I a good guest? So that's another topic. But this is basically finding who and where and what to uh, target. So this is a quick overview of listen notes. I'm going to use it to build a database of podcasts that I would like to be interviewed on. But hey, it's also just a plain good database to find stuff. All right, there's listen notes. I'm stopping for now. I will do updates as I learn more about this. I hope you enjoy listen notes. Thanks.